Joseph Gray, 100 metre world champion. That was a bit unexpected for you, was it? It was. I mean, I'm really happy for it, obviously, but it was my second event really coming into this competition. Second by behind me 400 in front of me 50 in terms of form. I'm not really a sprinting type of athlete, you know, I'm more of a long distance. It takes us a while to get into the race, you know. But thankfully, with the work I've been doing with Mick Massey at the High Performance Centre, my home coach Paul Robinson, Nick Rowley at the High Performance Centre, I've managed to get better at all three of the events that I do, and I'm really happy and thankful for it. And as well, having a great training partner like Jonathan Fox beside us has really pushed us on. Obviously, you had the silver in the 53 with a PB. That must have told you that you were there or thereabouts. Did it feel like a, a 61 was within you for tonight? Well, yes. I've, I've, I feel I can do anything if I put my mind to it. So, for that reason, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get like a 60 or a 59 in the 100. But, you know, I've got the gold and all I can do is improve from this point on. And what with great help from the people I've mentioned before, I'll be able to do that. You seem to have a lot of confidence as well, even though this is your first World Champs. Do you think kind of exuding that confidence gives you a bit of a fear factor over your rivals? Maybe they're a bit intimidated when you stand on the blocks? Well, to be honest, I don't care what my rivals think of us. I'm going to be very frank in saying that I don't care because at the end of the day, it's my race and I'll go out to win it and I don't care what anybody else is doing around us or thinking about us. You just talked me through that finish as well. You, you were in first at the turn and then you slipped down to second. You must have seen Matt Levy just slip ahead of you, but then you yeah. hauled him back in again. Yes, I did. He, he was off like a bullet in that second 50. I mean, I don't know how he did it and all congratulations to him. And I don't know how I pulled it back because with 75 metres to go, my arms felt like they had fell off. My legs felt like they were dead already. And I just, I don't know what happened. It must have been the finish that I've been practising so vigorously in Manchester and in my home programme.